Today we're gonna to be taking a look at some really helpful keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life, helping you learn how to live your best blind life. So for more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Now I have been a huge advocate of learning keyboard shortcuts, talked about it many times on my channel. I think it can tremendously speed up your productivity while on the computer and especially with low vision. If I don't have to move a mouse pointer around to try and click on things, if I can just quickly use keyboard shortcuts, it's gonna save me a lot of headache and a lot of eye strain. <laughs> So one of those places is gonna be in Gmail. I spend a lot of time in Gmail during the day. I've got like five different Gmail accounts that I have to monitor. So speeding up my productivity in Gmail is gonna be very welcomed. All right, let's jump over to the computer and we'll take a look at it. So I'm here in my Gmail and uh, this may look a little different than yours because I'm running a dark theme on mine. But the first thing I'll mention is that if you are a screen reader user, some of these keyboard shortcuts will not work because the screen reader might have the exact same shortcut and it will override the Gmail shortcut. So just something to keep in mind. First things first is we need to come into our settings which is over here all the way to the right. Click on the little cog wheel. We'll get a drop down here and the very top option here in blue is see all settings. We need to click on that. We need to come in here and we need to turn on the keyboard shortcuts. So on this first page here, we need to scroll all the way down, almost all the way down and there it is right there. Keyboard shortcuts. We'll have two options keyboard shortcuts off or keyboard shortcuts on. We want to click keyboard shortcuts on. Don't forget to come all the way down to the bottom and click save. And now the shortcuts are turned on and activated. We can start using those. All right, now that that's done. So today I'm just gonna show you guys a couple shortcuts here just to kind of get you started with using keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. If you would like a complete list of all of the shortcuts, very easy, hit shift and question mark and the keyboard shortcuts window list will open up. These are all the shortcuts right here for your reference. First, we'll talk about navigation. You can use your arrow keys to navigate up and down your email list here. And if you noticed, I'll zoom in, there's a little blue bar that pops up next to the email that you are currently on. Also, the square and the star will light up brighter. They'll highlight. If we find one that we want to look at, we can just simply hit the enter to open it up. I can tap U to go back. And I can also interact with this now that I have looked at it here. If I click S, that will star that particular email. Clicking S again will unstar it. If I'm inside of an email here and I decide that, oh, I wanna come back to this later, so I wanna mark it as unread, I can, instead of hitting U to go back, I can hit Shift U. And you see now it's marked as unread as if we never went in there to begin with. Right now I'm in my inbox. Say I want to go to my drafts folder. First, I need to give the command that I want to go somewhere, and that is going to be a G. And then I need to say where I want to go, which in this case, drafts, so I want to click the D. Now, I don't have anything in my drafts folder here, so let's go back to our inbox, G, I. G gives the command to go somewhere, and the second letter tells you where you want to go. If I want to go to my starred folder, let's go G, S. Now, if I want to go to my sent folder, all it's to see my emails that I've sent out, I can't do GS because GS is already taken. So in those cases, it takes the last letter. So for sent, it would be GT. If we want to get into a particular email, we just hit enter. While we're in here, we have some options. Obviously, we can reply to this email, we can forward it. To reply, I simply hit the R key, 
and that jumps me down to reply. If I want to reply all, I can hit the A key, and that will reply all. And finally, if I want to forward, I can hit the F, that will forward. And if I decide that I don't want this email anymore, I can delete it by pressing the pound symbol or shift and the number three. That will delete it. While we're out here, I think I'd like to compose a new email. So to do that, I can hit the C key, C for compose. So I'll just go ahead and write myself an email here. To jump down to the subject line, I'm just going to hit tab. And we're just going to say test, hit tab again, and we can enter in our text. Now, probably the keyboard command that I am most <laughs> excited to use is the control enter, control enter sends, automatically sends the message and I don't have to try and find the send button. Control enter. So those are just a handful of the numerous keyboard shortcuts that are available in Gmail. Once again, if you'd like to know them all, shift question mark will bring up this window that lists them all. There's even some for Hangouts. So I encourage you to come through here and explore them and start trying to implement them in your daily workflow. Okay guys, so there you go. I think you can agree that just practicing, learning some of those keyboard shortcuts is really gonna help speed up your productivity and save some time and headaches. I'd like to give a huge thank you to my friends over at In Focus. It's the YouTube channel for Vision Forward. They put this video out or a video talking about Gmail shortcuts pretty recently and that's what inspired me to make this video. So big thank you once again to those guys. I will have a link to their channel down below. Okay guys, well thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to hit the like button, share it on social media, Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, turn on notifications, and as always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.